Dark skin presents surface area, volume, and capacity. The surface area of an object is the sum total of the areas of all shapes that cover the surface of the object. Let's talk about a rectangular prism that has got two rectangles on two sides such that the planes of the two rectangles are parallel to each other and they are connected by rectangular faces. So this is what you call a rectangular prism. Let's say the length of the prism is L, the width is W, and the height of the prism is H. We have six rectangular faces in all on the prism, and the bottom face and the top face have each got an area of L times W. So the combined area of the face on the top and the one on the bottom is 2L times W. Similarly, the combined areas of the two faces on the two sides is 2 times W times H, which is 2WH. And finally, for the front face, it's a H times L and the back face is also H times L, so we have 2LH as the combined area of those two faces. Now if you add these up, sum total of all the areas, this is what you get. And if you take the 2 out as a common factor, we have the surface area, surface area is equal to 2 times length times width plus width times the height plus the length times the height. Volume is the measure of space inside a three-dimensional object. And for a rectangular prism, we have the volume as the product of its length, width and height. Containers have something called a capacity, which is a measure of the amount of liquid they can hold. And the capacity of a container is essentially the same as the volume of the container. Let's do a few problems. Find the surface area and volume of a rectangular prism with length 4 cm, width 5 cm and height 6 cm. So it's pretty much a straightforward application of the surface area and the volume formula for a rectangular prism. We know that the surface area is given as 2 times length times width plus length times height plus width times height. This is equal to 2 times the length is 4, so we have a 4 centimeters times the width is 5 centimeters plus 4 centimeters times the height is 6 centimeters plus the width is 5 centimeters times the height is 6 centimeters. So this is equal to 2 times, 4 times 5 is 20, so we have 20 square centimeters plus 4 times 6 is 24, 24 square centimeters or centimeter square plus 5 times 6 is 30, 30 centimeters square, which is equal to 2 times 20 plus 24 is 44 plus 30 is 74, so we have 2 times 74 square centimeters which is equal to 148 centimeters square. That's the surface area. And the volume formula is length times width times height. 
which is equal to 4 centimeters times 5 centimeters times 6 centimeters which is equal to 4 times 5 is 20 20 times 6 is 120 and you multiply the units pretty much like you do with the numbers centimeters times centimeters times centimeters is centimeters cubed this is what the volume is let's try another one Jeff is painting some cubes the cubes are 5 centimeters on each side one container of paint can paint an area of 1350 square centimeters how many cubes can be painted from two containers? A cube is a rectangular prism in which all the sides are the same length. So the length, the width, the height, they all have the same measure. In this case, 5 centimeters. And when we paint a shape, we actually paint the outside surface of that shape and not what's inside it. And therefore, you need to consider the surface area and not the volume. And the surface area of each cube is given as 2 times length times width. Remember, they are all equal to 5. So, we have 5 centimeters times 5 centimeters plus length times height. 5 centimeters times 5 centimeters plus width times height 5 centimeters times 5 centimeters again which is equal to 2 times 5 times 5 is 25 so we have 25 square centimeters times 3 because there are 3 terms and they are all equal 25 plus 25 plus 25 is the same as 25 times 3 and this is equal to 150 square centimeters. This is the surface area of each one of these cubes. And because one container can paint an area of 1350 square centimeters and we have two containers of paints, therefore the total available paint is equal to 2 times 1350 square centimeters which is equal to 2700 square centimeters so the number of cubes that can be painted number of cubes that can be painted is equal to 2700 square centimeters divided by the surface area of one single cube which is 150 square centimeters and when you do this division you get 18 so you could paint 18 cubes with two containers of paint